Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla begins testing Magic Dock equipped superchargers for non-Tesla EVs in US. Tesla Model Y earns IA's 2023 Top Safety Pick Plus Award, despite stricter standards. Tesla to phase in additional cameras through the year, starting with Model S and Model X. And, a new Tesla model prototype spotted. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has evidently started testing superchargers equipped with the Magic Dock, as one has been spotted for the first time in the United States. There is even a sign next to the station that shows how the automaker will initiate charging for non-Tesla vehicles. For several months, Tesla has been working to develop a new charging system for its existing supercharger network that will allow EVs not built by the company to charge. The first clues were spotted within the Tesla app, showing what appears to be the magic dock, which is what has been coined as the method non-Tesla EVs will use to utilize the supercharger network. Now, the first Magic Dock equipped supercharger was spotted by a Reddit user, and it even has a sign next to it, advising non-Tesla users to scan a QR code to charge non-Tesla vehicles. Next to the supercharger, the sign reads the following. Scan for instructions to charge a non-Tesla. It appears, Tesla was even testing the Magic Dock with a Rivian R1T. Interestingly, while this may not be the first Magic Dock equipped supercharger to be installed, it is the first one spotted by the public, and it isn't in California or Texas, where many would think Tesla would roll out the first. Instead, it was spotted in Barron, New York, and is a V3 supercharger, with speeds of up to 250 kilowatt. Tesla hasn't unveiled any specific plan for how it would open its supercharger network in the United States to other EVs. However, the company confirmed in mid-February that it would more than double its fleet of superchargers by 2024, and that select Tesla superchargers across the US will soon be open to all EVs. Back in July 2022, the White House stated that Tesla would be developing new supercharger equipment that will enable non-Tesla EV drivers in North America to use Tesla superchargers. This was the first indication that Tesla was actually planning to open up its network in the near future to other EVs. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y earns IA's 2023 Top Safety Pick Plus Award, despite stricter standards. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IAS, has announced the vehicles that qualified for its Top Safety Pick and Top Safety Pick Plus Awards for 2023. The Tesla Model Y is one of them, despite the agency updating its standards this year to make them more stringent. Thanks to the IA's new criteria, only 48 models qualified for the agency's 2023 awards. Among this number, 28 were able to earn a Top Safety Pick Plus, and 20 were able to achieve a Top Safety Pick rating. In comparison, there were 101 winners in the past year, which included 65 models that earned a top safety pick plus rating. IA's president David Harkey explained the agency's test results this year. The number of winners is smaller this year because we're challenging automakers to build on the safety gains they've already achieved. These models are true standouts in both crashworthiness and crash prevention, Harkey said. Among the most notable changes made to the IAS standards involved the agency's side crash test, which was updated to involve 82% more energy than before. A new evaluation, the nighttime vehicle to pedestrian front crash prevention test, was also rolled out. Harkey explained the addition of the nighttime vehicle to pedestrian front crash prevention test in the IAS metrics. U.S. traffic fatalities hit a 20-year high in the first half of 2022, in part due to a steady climb in pedestrian crashes. Safer vehicles can be an important part of the solution, even though reversing the trend will also take a concerted effort from policymakers and other stakeholders, he said. Despite these changes, the Tesla Model Y still earned the IA's Top Safety Pick Plus rating, making it one of three all-electric vehicles that earned stellar marks this year. Other all-electric cars that received a top safety pick plus rating from the IAS include the Rivian R1T and Volkswagen ID4.
A look at the Tesla Model Y's page on the IAS shows that the all-electric crossover scored a good rating on the agency's updated site impact test. The Model Y also aced the IAS nighttime vehicle to pedestrian front crash prevention test. Interestingly enough, the IAS announced that it was sunsetting three of its previous safety evaluations from its award criteria. These are roof strength, head restraint, and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle front crash prevention tests. As noted by the IAS, the retirement of the roof strength, head restraint, and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle front crash prevention tests is also a result of industry progress, which has made these tests less relevant in their current form. Moving to the next update, Tesla to phase in additional cameras through the year, starting with Model S and Model X. There has been a lot of speculation that Tesla was going to be adding new cameras to its vehicles, with the introduction of hardware 4, led mainly by a teardown of the computer by Hacker Green the only, which revealed additional camera inputs. Those hopes seemed to be dashed when earlier this week, newly built Model S and Model X vehicles spotted at Fremont had new cameras, but no additional cameras in the front or rear bumpers. However, it appears there will still be new cameras, but Tesla will be phasing them into all of their vehicles over the coming year. According to Teslascope, who spoke with several employees, the new cameras won't appear for at least another few months, but when they do, they will first be on the Model S and Model X, as we have suspected. From there, the additional cameras, the locations of which were not confirmed by the employees, will be phased into the Model 3 and Model Y before the end of the year. This will happen for all Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built at Fremont, Giga Texas, Giga Berlin, and Giga Shanghai. The Cybertruck will also get the new camera placements when it enters production later this summer. It was also said that in production semis will be receiving hardware for and the new cameras. The vehicles spotted earlier this week with the new cameras were confirmed to be equipped with hardware 4. However, it will likely still be a few weeks until we see the first deliveries taking place. According to Teslascope, the software to support hardware 4 isn't finished yet, but the engineers have a deadline to complete the project by March, so if all goes according to plan, the first deliveries will likely happen in early next month. Moving to the last update, a new Tesla model prototype spotted. A new prototype vehicle has been spotted over the last few days, and it clearly has some Tesla design features. It could be a test mule for the upcoming new Tesla Model 2, $25,000 electric car, or it could be nothing. The rumors about a new Tesla vehicle have been ramping up over the last few days. Tesla has been talking about a new cheaper model for years now, and with the upcoming unveiling of its next-generation vehicle platform next week, it's possible that the automaker will quickly reveal the first vehicle to use that platform. Recently, there were reports on Tesla potentially leaking the design of its new electric compact car with design drawings in a new corporate video. Now we have also been getting reports on a new prototype in China, and some are speculating that it is a Tesla vehicle. The vehicle is highly confusing, it has clear Tesla design features, including the wheels, headlights, and front end, but it also appears to have a Mazda CX-30 body. Tesla is not known for using camouflage like this, but at the same time, it's the first time the automaker is developing a new vehicle in China, and we should expect some new ways of doing things. In 2020, Tesla announced plans to establish a new R&D center in China to build a Chinese-style electric car. Tesla started taking design submissions for its Chinese-made small electric car that summer and started hiring for the program shortly afterward. CEO Elon Musk said that it would be a Tesla car designed and built in China. But it's still not clear if this is a Tesla test mule for its next vehicle or if it's a strange modified CX-30 made to look like a Tesla prototype. In China, it is being reported as a new Tesla Model 2, but there doesn't seem to be any proof beyond the prototype, having been spotted around over the last few days. This is a strange one, and very confusing. It would be a departure from Tesla's usual prototype making, to use a body from another automaker, but again, it's the first time it is developing a car in China. 
Also, the CX-30 is probably about the size Tesla would be going for with this new model. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.